the super translator. Paul, there's someone sleeping in that bed. I know. Isn't this just a little risky? I mean, should we wait till morning when no one's around? There's no time, Missy. Paul is right. We lost the enemy agent back at the alleyway. But it's only a matter of time until they could pick up our trail again. Besides, we need to return the special tape before the next broadcast. I just don't like this late night shift. Besides, I need my beauty sleep. Maybe you should have thought of that. We're back at the mall waiting for you. How can you even say that? It was a sale. Two, four. Shh, stop arguing. And let's concentrate on getting back home. Yes! What? Major Dredd, sir. What is it? You fool, do you know what time it is? How dare you? Forgive me, your dreaded ship, but I have located the super translator. What? Yes! The entrance to the secret headquarters of Commander Kelly and the super kids! <laughs> they left the entrance unguarded. Don't you stand there? Follow them and destroy that show. And if you value your life, you will not fail. Yes, sir. <laughs> At last, I can stop Commander Kelly, the Super Kids, and the blasted show. No longer can they interrupt our network with their pirated broadcasts of, of hope and love. Finally, fear will reign in the hearts of children everywhere. <laughs> It seems like years now since all the world's broadcast networks were taken over by the NME Corporation. NME is a secret acronym for Notoriously Malicious Enterprises. At first, the organization and its programming appeared relatively harmless. But then, the shows grew more and more violent and controlling. NME said they just gave people what they wanted. The organization used entertainment as a disguise to expand its reach until every network was under their control. No, they attempt to control the entire world with a message of fear and evil aimed mostly at children. They believe if they can control the children, that they can control the future. A plan that could work, except for a small band of resistance known as the Super Kids. At the core is Commander Kelly and her Blue Squad, and they possess the last free transmitter that must now operate in secret. Greetings, cadets. We're interrupting this regularly disgusting program with a message of hope. Blue 
Blue Squad reporting, Commander Kelly. Mission accomplished. Here's the footage showing the gang activity was originally started by NME and later blamed on the Guardian Angels in Centra City. We're followed by an NME agent. But we lost him. Yeah, that was a close one. We were tracking through the city with an agent on our tail. We ducked into the alley, but the agent ducked as well. We cut across the neighborhood and hid behind a tree. And that was when the canine took a bite of enemy. We ditched him. <laughs> alert! Base alert! An intruder has entered security sector three. Are you sure you weren't followed? Yes, we all made it through the super translator. Alex was the last. Alex, you did wait for it to close, didn't you? You know the rule. The last one through must always guard the opening of the translator until it closes. Um, um, well, you see, I, I tripped. Um, I, I, I kind of bumped techno. I, I think the man woke up. Um, on second thought, I guess I forgot. You what? How could you? Okay, that's enough. The intruder has been captured, and I've dispatched techno to bring him here for questioning. <laughs> okay, Buster, don't even think about it. One false move and... What? Well, you know. No what? Well, actually, I just always wanted to say that. That's okay, Techno. Our guest appears quite harmless. Don't mind Techno. Yeah, his beep is much worse than his bite. You get it? B-Y-T-E? Bite? Like in a computer? <laughs> oh, please. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Commander Kelly, and this is Paul. Alex. Hi. Rapper. Yo. Valerie. And Missy. Nice to meet you. Also known as the Super Kids. <coughs> Forgive me. How could I forget? I believe you've met Techno, our robot. Greetings. My pleasure, I'm sure. Would you like to change into something a little less comfortable? Yeah. Thank you. Very much. Where am I? Uh, <laughs> how did I get here? What is that thing that I came through? That thing is called the Super Translator. Well, sir, technically you're transported, I'd rather translate it to another place instantaneously. Wait, you mean like in the Bible? We refer to it as the manual, but yes. Like Enoch in Genesis. Wait, <laughs> this is a trip. I mean, nobody's even told me what this place is all about. I tell you what. Why don't you have a seat over there, and we'll show you. All right. This is what you get for giving away our little secret. Now? Now. We interrupt this program with a message from our sponsor.
I know who you are. You're... You're Mario, the singer, Mario. the TV star. You're... He's Mario. Yeah, I remember. You had your own TV show. What happened? Hey, dude, you had it made. Well, I had everything Enemy had to offer. Cars and clothes and, and money, fame. Everything except happiness. Then uh, I heard about a man who offered hope and joy and uh, even eternal life. You mean Jesus? Yeah, I mean Jesus. So I accepted him and, uh, boy, everything changed. I, I started to sing for the Lord and uh, my life had purpose and my songs had meaning. And uh, enemy wasn't too thrilled about that. And then everything turned around. Friends turned against me. An enemy took my program off the air. But I was determined to continue to serve the Lord, and I wouldn't stop. But then things got worse. And I came home one day, and my house was burned to the ground. And everything was destroyed. And anything that meant something to me was gone. And I got a note, and it says that if I continued to serve the Lord, that worse things would happen to me or to people that were close to me. And it just took my heart out. And I haven't sung since. Those lousy, no good rats. I know it's hard to understand, but. When all seems lost, there's a place we can turn to for strength, courage, and hope for the truth.
Okay, it's time for our live broadcast. Positions, everyone. Today, a message of hope for weary warriors everywhere. As it says in the Super Kids manual, be strong and courageous. Don't be terrified. Don't be discouraged. For the Lord our God will be with us wherever we go. For His Holy Spirit speaks deep within our hearts and tells us that we really are God's children. Since we are His children, we will share His treasures too. For God is not against the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So have faith, because as David said in Psalm 56, The very day I call for help, the tide of battle turns, my enemies flee. This one thing I know, God is for me. This is my guitar. Won't you share your gift again with the people all over the world? I don't know. You know, I've been through so much. Please? Well, since you put it that way, give it here. friends been wondering where my future lies since I took my stand for Christ and gave him my life they're wondering just what's in store since I've quote found the way that's when the Lord stirs up my soul and I quite Clearly say, Well, I'm growing up to be a born again, beloved, washed, spirit filled, testifying child of the king. I'm gonna praise him in the morning through the afternoon till night, and then I'll dream about witnessing. I wanna walk and talk and act like Jesus, though I may get feathered and tarred. The world may try and stop my mission, but I grow with opposition, cause I'm an overcoming child of God. That's what you're talking about? Well, the expressions on their faces change every single time. And, and the looks they give are priceless, but so's this look on mine. You see, God wants us to share the Lord. That's our Christian task. So when someone says, hey, what's happening, man? I'll say, brother. I thought you never asked. You're right. You see, I'm growing. I'm growing up to be a born again, blood washed, spirit filled, testifying the child of the king. I'm gonna praise him in the morning through the afternoon tonight And then I'll dream about witnessing Well, I want to walk up and I talk up and I act like a Jesus Oh, I may get feathered and tarred The world may try and stop my mission But I grow with opposition Cause I'm an overcoming child of God The world may try and stop my mission But I grow Position. Cause I'm a Bible quoting, scripture quoting, sin defacing, devil chasing, chorus humming, guitar strumming, gospel preaching, soul reaching, overcoming, child of God. That's far enough, Commander. <laughs> I'm afraid this will be your last broadcast. I hereby terminate this show by the authority given to me by NME. So, uh, hand over the transmitter. Well, this may come as a surprise to you, but I answer to a higher authority, the highest. I feared it would come to this. You leave me no choice but to terminate you as well. You always have a choice. I have a gun! What do you have? I have my God, and I'm trusting in Him. 
He will shield me with his wings. They will protect me. His faithful promises are my armor. When I call on him, he answers me. He's always with me, even in trouble, and he rescues me. And even though danger surrounds me, it can't come near me. That's enough! <laughs> what happened? Simple. Your fear gun is no match for my shield of faith. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of this world. I failed in my mission. I'll surely die if I return. Major Dredd will kill me. I should have known Major Dredd was behind all of this. I beg of your mercy. At least I was only following orders. Please have mercy on me. Accept my surrender. I can't. But you know what? I know someone who can. You see, the mercy you desire comes only from one place, from the true living God, through His Son, Jesus. If you will believe in your heart and confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord, then you will be saved. But only you can make that decision. As I said before, you have a choice, and you must choose who you will serve. Yes, I accept God's terms of surrender. Then you have chosen life. This manual says it clearly in 1 Peter 1, 3. In his great mercy, he has given you new birth into living hope through the resurrection of his son, Jesus, from the dead and an inheritance that can never spoil or fade. In other words, he has given you eternal life, and you have accepted it. I, uh, I just want to thank you all for uh, everything that you've done. Um, because of you, I have a true message, and a true song. And this time, enemy will not take it away. There's only one thing. Um, why was there a translator in my closet? We actually have no control over the location or where it opens. We simply follow by faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. Because when we come to Him, we must believe that He exists. As you can see, even when we don't see, God has a plan. And this time, it included you. Oh, uh, well... Thank you. Boy, you know, I'm, I'm gonna really miss you guys. Um, where's, uh, where's Missy? Goodbyes are difficult for Missy. Oh, hi. Hi. I thought you might need this to, to remember me by. Oh, Missy, I wouldn't need anything to remember you. However, I will accept this lovely gift and I will treasure it always I, I just have one more question um can I keep the jacket too <laughs> revenge will be mine super kids <laughs> what no no not again drat you commander Kelly no no attention cadets commander Kelly here reminding you to stay tuned into God and tuned into his word. And remember, as it says in Romans 8, 37 and 38, I'm convinced that neither death nor life, angels or demons, the present or the future, or any powers, height or death, or anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus. Base alert, trouble in sector seven, super kids needed. Well, everyone, duty calls. Until next time, stay tuned!